Hello, West Side. Guess where I'm at right now? I am sitting in front of my fireplace because it is cold today. It's like 42 degrees. What? I, really? I mean, uh, Mother Nature, you're gonna make your mind up because like, I'm ready for 70 degrees. I'm so cold. I have my blanket with me right now. I thought I would sit in front of the fireplace and teach today. How cool is that? Very cozy. I'm sitting on the floor like we do in my classroom. I'd love to have all of you sitting on the floor when, with me in front of my fireplace right now. Wouldn't that be fun? Maybe one day. Okay, so we are going to be talking about something that is based around advertising. This is going to be a school-wide project like the mask project. And um, there's a reason I am doing this. Uh, this week, we are going to begin to see businesses opening up in our area and around the country. And we have um, a lot of small businesses where this was really concerning for them to be closed this long. They weren't sure if customers would ever come back if they do open up weren't sure if they could survive being closed for two months. Is there a business that you miss? Some place that you used to go to before we had the COVID quarantine. Um, is there a person that you miss seeing that worked in the business? Someone that really brightened up your day every time you went in there. They made you laugh, or maybe they gave you something free on the side, or, you know, just someone that made you feel good, and you haven't seen them in a long time, and you'd really like to see them. Um, is there a special way a restaurant prepared your food? You know, some restaurants do have to go, but their menus are limited. So there might be a dish that you haven't been able to eat in two months and you're thinking to yourself, all I want to do is go to the restaurant and eat that food the way they prepare it because it's so good, nobody makes it the way that they make it. Okay, maybe it's that. Um, our hair, oh my gosh, let me tell you. You know, have you looked at people lately? Oh my gosh, people are walking around with cray cray hair. You should see some of the uh, gentlemen in my house right now. Um, you know, we don't have our hair salons open or our barbers. Uh, even our groomers for our dogs, our poor dogs. They're all saying, I need a haircut, please give me an haircut. I can't see, I smell, my toenails are too long. They've been closed. The businesses that were non-essential had to close. Banks, some of the grocery stores stayed open, but a lot of businesses had to shut their doors for the quarantine. Ice cream stands, uh, Playland, Sky Zone where you jump, many businesses downtown, Mommy, uh, in Toledo, uh, in Perrysburg, Levis Commons, our movie theaters. Um, you know, Mr. Freeze had just opened up like a week before the quarantine started. And that really, I thought, oh my gosh, you're really taking it. Who's that? Hello, Norman. How are you? Yes, he needs a haircut. Oh, yes, she loves me. Yes, she loves me. Oh, he's a good dog. And yes, I know. Oh, 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 oh yes. Okay. Uh, get back on track. Uh, thank you, Ro uh, Rocco, for showing Norman. Uh, but anyhow, so we have, I know maybe some of our bookstores, like the Books A Million has been closed. Uh, we don't have a lot of bookstores in Toledo, but the ones that we do, boy, I miss just walking through the bookstore, don't you? Gyms have been closed. That's been, I mean, how many of your moms and dads have been jumping around the living room or riding bikes or making, you're walking your dog, walking your dog. Is your dog laying on the, the carpeting saying, please don't walk me one more time. Just go to work. Some of your families might own businesses that have been closed. Some of your dads might 
have worked at home. Some of your moms might have worked at home, your grandmas, uh, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, anyone that you live with. Their life might have changed because of the COVID. So what we're going to do is we're going to think about these small local businesses and what has happened and what is going to happen for them in the next couple weeks. They're all signs giving a big sigh of relief that maybe we're gonna be able to open fully and have our business going 100%. And that's what we all hope for. So my question to you is what business do you miss? I want you to think about that because you are gonna pretend that you have been hired as the executive advertiser for the business that you love and miss. And you are gonna create an advertisement for that business. What is advertising? Well, kind of a long explanation, but I'll give you the formal explanation and then I'll give you the informal one, but, or the definition. Um, it's advertising is the attempt to influence the buying behavior of customers or clients or services. In business, the goal of the advertiser is to attract new customers or advertising, advertisement, is to attract new customers to their business through an ad campaign. Think about different ad campaigns that you've seen for McDonald's or for local businesses, uh, for, you know, let me think, the business that you would know. Um, well, a lot of the fast foods, but we don't really wanna worry about fast foods because they've been opened up. But like Gatorade has, you know, advertising where you recognize that G. Um, there's certain logos that you recognize right away when you see them that you know it's the business. Advertisers make the consumers, the customers, you want to go to a certain business. Either through testimon testimonials where someone will talk about the business on film or on the radio or on the computer through YouTube. Um, you'll see advertisements in print where they'll show beautiful pictures and describe the business. You'll see um, uh, those same type of advertisements uh, through the computer on the web. You'll also see advertisements on the radio or you will see them on television. You are going to pick your business and you are going to create an advertisement for that business. You are going to either do it on paper, create an ad print campaign. Print means you do it on paper. You can just do it on regular, um, what do you call it, the printing paper. Or you can do a film advertisement like uh, a commercial on TV and you can use your telephone to film it, or your mom or dad's telephone or someone who lives in your house. Or you could do a computer advertisement where you um, design it on the computer and then email it to, it, to, email it to me. Oh, I can't walk, talk today. Or you can do a radio advertisement where you um, can create an audio um, advertisement and you can send it to me. So let's talk about how we're gonna do this advertising. If you are doing print, I want you to think about what we talk about all the time. Use the paper! Da better! Da better! Yes! So think about the use of your paper. I also, and you know, we talk about this first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. We talk about how the paper says, please use me, please use me. You know, think about the viewer needs to see the advertisement. Composition, I want you to think about where you're placing your 
drawing, your words? Is everything shoved to one side? Maybe there's a reason it's shoved to one side. Have you thought about how it is filling up all of the paper? And if there's a reason why it's not filling up all the paper, then I should be able to understand that through your advertisement, okay? Then we have fonts. Fonts are the way that you write the letter, letters in your advertisement. Are you writing neat? Am I able to see the business's name? That's one thing that you really need to keep in, in your mind is that the business's name should be repeated over and over and over again. I need to know what you are trying to promote, okay? You could write the business's name in a great big font and maybe descriptions underneath it um, with a different font, smaller, and pictures around it. You decide. Film, if you're doing a commercial, I want you to think about things like you could write a jingle. Hey, Barb would love that. You could do awesome photography in it, um, photographing maybe the place or a menu or something that happens in that business. You want to keep the viewer focused on the product and on the business. Like I want to know real clearly where I'm going and what it is, okay? So make sure that the name of the business is really out there to be seen or um, heard, okay? Show the business name and product. I just said that over and over again. Show it or say it. And then lastly, I have the radio. So radio, um, Oh, and computers, I should have gone back. I, something I neglected with um, the composition and the print. That would go along if you're doing a computer advertisement. So I want you to think about composition and sound. And the cool thing with the computer is that you can kind of combine it with a still ad and a, um, a movie or a video. Sort of how I make these right now on YouTube because sometimes I show pictures, which I'll show following this, of different advertisements. Radio, funny sounds, music, voices, anything to grab the listener's attention and saying the business's name over and over again and the address because you want to know where you're going to go, okay? So, how will you make your advertisement eye-catching or sound-catching, I guess you would say? How are you going to make me remember it or someone else? You can use a testimonial where someone talks about the business and tells you how wonderful it is um, and how they, you know, how, why they go back there because it's so fabulous. Um, think about how you would feel if you were the business owner and you wanted people to come back to your business. And so the reason I decided to do this project right now is because of the fact that I think it's important that we care about each other. I think that as a community, we want our economy and we want our city to thrive again in our country. And so the best way we can do that is to lift others up and help them get on their feet again. And if we think someone or something is pretty great, then let's shout it out to the world. Let's help each other. And you know what? A child's voice. Oof. Boy, you have a lot of power, brothers and sisters. Yes, you do. So. This week's assignment, first through eighth, is to pick your business, choose print where you draw on a printing paper, your advertisement. Do it on the phone where you film. You can use your family members, you could use 
anybody, I don't care. You can actually go to the spot where the business is. If you have someone to drive you, that would be great. And if you are doing radio, then you can be very creative with jingles and sounds. So let's help each other out. Hey, and I forgot to tell you, Westside Montessori is a business. Yeah. And if you want to promote your school, go ahead. That's great. All right. Stay warm. Hopefully, we'll all be in some shorts outside next weekend, a week. And um, I can't wait to see what you're going to come up with. All right? I miss you, and I love every one of you. Have a great day.